watching now, Molly? And we're watching me brother. He's just about to weigh in against Vargas. He's got baby Lee on stage with him and he's going to throw everyone wigs. Paddy the Baddy wigs. Yeah. A yeah. long time friends, eh? Yeah, uh, 10 years. Ten years. Yeah, 10 years, yeah. So yeah. was he all already there when you were named uh, Meatball? Yeah, he was there. Um, he, he had hair like Dennis, but no hair. He had braces and he was a young, young man and now a, a, a teenager. And now he's a, a, the next big thing, a superstar. Yeah, look at him. Does it, it makes you emotional when you see him like that? Yeah, emotion in a good way. Mm -hmm. So if I feel nervous or scared or apprehens apprehensive, anxious, he's there to go, come on. <laughs> and the same for him if he's like, I'm like, come on, lad. <laughs> so um, it really is a powerful friendship. There's a big Liverpool connection here. Can you talk us a little bit about it? Yeah, so me and Patrick, both from Liverpool, Michael Grundy and Tom Aspinall trains in Liverpool, but he's from Manchester. So the northwest of England is producing the first wave of big, big, big superstars or exciting fighters. As well, we've got Darren Till. And um, What is your secret? Everyone from Liverpool is, is near enough Irish, so we all have that fighting spirit, that determination, that grit, and we just don't like to lose, and we like to put our city on, on notice, and if we win, our city wins as well. How, how important is it for you that the UFC's you've now, after the COVID pandemic, is coming back to Euro? I don't fight well without a crowd, Marlos. A, a lot of us don't like the silence. I, why? The fans is why I do it. I'm a martial artist, I'm a performer. I like to fight for them. When they wasn't here, it was flat. And now to have them back, even at a weigh-in, you can feel that, that energy, you can feel it. And, and we thrive. And, if I'm tired or I'm on the floor and I hear them scream, meatball, meatball, I'll get, get back up. And it's great to see the fans back here in London because London, I feel, is like the hub of Europe. So the O2 deserves the, the first UK card, the first European fight night again. You've got a wonderful story. I want to talk a little bit about your children's book. Um, why did you write it? I know it, of course, but why was it so dear to your heart? Just because I struggled for so long finding myself, dealing with my internal issues, my demons, and I wanted to help the kids coming up to know even at 25 or at any age, it's never too late to be true to who you are. So I drew a book with a guy called Sean Webster and all of the proceeds go to Stonewall Charity to help other children or LGBTQ plus people um, in the struggle. So if you haven't seen it, get onto Amazon. Uh, Molly McCann, be true to you. All the proceeds go to someone else. I don't see any of it. And I also read that uh, martial arts gave you freedom eh, to, to express yourself, to be yourself. Can you please inform, talk us a little bit about that? Yeah, when you come from a, a city that's hard, sometimes it's hard to be an individual because you're a bit of an outcast. So when I walked into the gym, you know, Thai boxing and MMA and Jiu Jitsu, everyone's like this. <laughs> Whereas like boxing is a little bit more old school. Oh, yeah. yeah, and um, it was just accepting of me straight away. And I didn't have to hide or feel the need to hide. So the MMA community just embraced me. And then I've never looked back. You got a word for your Dutch fans? Um, I'm coming soon to train with Jermaine Randamine. And I'll come and train with you at your gym if you want. Love Holland. I've been about 10, 11, 12 times. The beer is great and so are the brownies. <laughs> <laughs>